All right, this is all from Virginia. I'm back in the, uh, back in my field. Brought my MXT today. White's MXT. In depth of history, this is a little bit for you. I brought it out today. Try to get a couple signals for you. Um, but I'll try to do, I'll do a more in depth video tomorrow. But basically, here's my settings, man. I'm, I'm out here. There's uh, one, two, three, three knobs, two, uh, two switches and then you got your toggle up here on the switch here's how I got set up I got it in relic mode I'm relic hunting um, for you you like coin jewelry you might want to do coin jewelry to start unless you know you're in for sure in a relic spot if you're in a relic spot go ahead and switch it over to relic but you do a lot of coin and jewelry so you might want to start off with coin and jewelry I always go with ground ground track if you're in a highly mineralized soil, like down a call pup or something where there's a lot of iron in the ground, you might want to ground balance and then um, basically ground balance. I'll take my headphones off for a minute. <clears throat> basically ground balance, you just pump it up like two times to the ground until the vo uh, sound disappears. You'll hear a hmm, hmm, hmm. And then uh, when it balances, you'll hear nothing, which is what I got right now. So you ground balance. <clears throat> And set it on ground or leave it on ground if you want a ground balance and you got a highly mineralized soil then you might want to put it on lock if you go into the beach or something then you can put it on salt and that accounts for the solidity in the water and the sand but I hunt on relic ground and on the gain mode it's kind of a trick bag it's also your depth um, it's got a factory setting it gives you a pointy pointy area right before 10 that's a start a good starting point but I always try to take it up at least plus one and you'll take it until um, I usually take it about plus one, but when it gets gets too much, you'll start hearing chatter on your coil, so you don't want to get to the point where you got chatter. But I try to go at least plus one, maybe one and a half, close to two. Then my uh, dual control, I generally drop it down to two, and that's just basically your your discrimination for your iron. Um, factory set point is at three and a half. Um, the outer I'm sorry, the inner ring where it says SAT, that's strictly for the prospecting mode. And I forget exactly what it stands for. Something T is a threshold, I think, but it's it deals with the response time and everything off the prospecting mode for the inner dial. So you want to pretty much be the outer dial, which it says nickel tab, pull tabs up to here. If you want to exclude everything, all your iron to be in the bottom end, like this is your nails. I'm about midway in the nail range to two. Um, factory settings at three, but I usually take mine down to two ground balance and then your threshold is basically you hear that I Basically take it to the point you don't hear it and you just crank it up just a little bit So I always hear it in my headphones that way. I know it's working plus you can sometimes hear what they call uh, uh, What we used to call down call is ghost ghost signals So if you got a home and all of a sudden you hear a break in the threshold, but you might not necessarily have a reading It could be a deep reading or it could be a highly mineralized ground and getting it in a reading. So also listen for those goat, what we call ghost signals. So I always take it to you don't hear it and then just turn it up a little bit. So you do and I always have that hum run in the back. Some people can't stand the hum. They want silent mode. In that case, then you just drop it back enough where you don't hear the threshold. But again, there's times I just dug a signal a few minutes ago. There's a little nut to a nut and bolt down about six inches that all it did was flush out the threshold sound and never made a beep until I started digging the ground but that's my settings threshold so you just barely hear it about two on the discrimination of dual control I take uh, the gain as far up as you can as long as you're still stable and balanced and if you start crackling and get unstable then you just got to drop it back like that I, I never hardly ever go below the nine and a half set point I always try to be slightly above about one and a half Relic mode for you if you like coins and jewelry, then you want to set it on coins and ground bounce. Right now, I got a signal. Pretty much, see if you, if you can see the screen. It says about 45 to 52. It says bullet and button. It mainly says bullet. I'm a little close right now, but it says bullet. If you're in relic mode, It'll use the IDs as bullet, button, buckle, and nail, I think. So I got a signal, and there it is. It's a three ring right there. Another drop one. First signal of the day. 
And it's one of those funky... That one's... I think it rammed in by the ramrod. You got a little dimple at the top from the ramrod ring, but it's... Looks like it's been fired, but it hasn't been fired. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been fired. It's just probably flattened from the plow field. I think it's pretty much a drop bullet, but even though it's got a little curvature to it, that's not from firing. That's from uh, probably from a plow from the field and being a plow. All right, this is Earl. I'll try to get you more a little later. I'm using the six by nine Eclipse DD coil on the white for the whites, and this is my uh, white Zip T. All right, man. Dug another hole, not too terribly deep, about five inches. Another ghost signal on the uh, MXT. It's basically a flat spot in the threshold, and then I triggered forward. Kept getting a faint hit of a decent signal. Just showing about seven inches and dug it. Famous drop three uh, cleaner. Man, there's a ton of them in here. That's a beautiful one there. That is a nice one right there, baby. Drop Williams cleaner. Nice haul. Using the uh, white MXT today. Getting a lot of ghost signals, kind of like what's getting on the Garrett AT Pro. Just switching around on modes and triggers and trigger forward and locking in on discrimination, getting a chirp, and a high chirp, and a high chirp is a good signal. I'm digging in. Dug a lot of foil already, too, just off the left of me. It's kind of like a brake line halfway through this field, to the half from the road to the halfway point in the field. It's a lot of trash, but as soon as you get through that trash point, there's some gravel mixed in with it, and as soon as you get past the trash point, then all the relics start popping up. And I'm not too far past that point. But, uh, again. Alright, it's been a while since I dug a signal. Tried uh, going back the other way a little bit, just past where I got the plate, which wasn't productive before, and it wasn't this time. So I came back to where I knew this stuff, and dug another hole. This is down a little bit deeper. It was a ghost signal again. And it got me another one of those really cool... Uh, pulled 58s using the uh, gun tool. It's been reamed out or wormed out, I should say. Really nice 58. And that, when that hole cleans up, you'll see the worm screw in there. Really nice. It's two of them, um, two really nice worm bullets out of this field so far. All right, guys. Not gonna stick around too long. Running out of time. I gotta work again. All right, guys. This is all. Um, wanted to post something I found. The other night when I posted a vid, excuse me a second. The other night when I posted a vid, we, uh, Ian and I went back later that evening and only got the hunt for about an hour and a half and it turned dark on us. And coming out of the field uh, with no light on the meter and, and no light to see by, I got a good signal and I dug it up, threw it in my bag, got to the truck and I thought it was made out of brass and steel and I didn't think nothing of it. I went to clean it up the other day and I got this shut off valve. And it's either made of pewter or lead, not sure which. If it was lead, I would figure it would have turned white like everything else. But I think it's more on pewter like the canteen spout. But this thing's about, well, for purposes of my hand, it's not quite as long as my pointer finger, but pretty close. So it's probably about, what, two inches, two, two and a half inches. But it's Pewter shutoff valve, it looks to be pewter, pretty daggone heavy, it feels heavy like lead, but I think the way the finish is and the, the color of it, I'm pretty sure it's pewter. But, um, it's basically just got a corkscrew, it goes all the way down to not quite the bottom, about two thirds of the way down, right there. And the bottom may have had a square stem coming out at one time kind of hard to tell. I can't tell if it's just worn or if it was a sprue from where they poured the, the mold and they just cut the sprue off, which is probably what it is. It's probably just a sprue. I don't think it had a function. If it did, it might have had a little piece that stuck out here. But um, any ideas or thoughts? Pretty sure it's Civil War period being the material it's made out of. Um, but I don't have a clue what it was used for. I wouldn't think it would be a water, a uh, big old water barrel. I would think the seal would be pretty lousy. Uh, right around this corkscrew. I mean, it's not like it's not, the flights aren't very high or anything else. Alright, guys. Give me your thoughts. Earl from Virginia. Uh, fine from the other night. Didn't get to post it. It was too dark to film, so I thought I'd film it today and throw it in with the 
the vent. I'm going to put the gears later. See you guys. Alright, this is Earl from Virginia. I'm back in the field again. I didn't post uh, I didn't post a few finds that I dug. I was starting to get in a few relics again and trying to find a rainstorm. So It was really windy earlier. You probably wouldn't have heard me anyway. So just dug about five minutes ago. Just dug another J hook. Pretty nice shape. The cap's a little loose, but it's still on there. It was actually down the shank a little bit. But got me a nice J hook. Just dug recently uh, a not a worm, but a hard rammed. Uh, it was rammed hard when it was loaded, I guess. Pretty sure it was fired. I don't see how it been wormed being it doesn't have a hole got a yesterday evening before I left dug his 58 dropped it that's a plow hit there that wasn't that wasn't me I'm sorry that's a plow hit wasn't me but got me a 58 the other evening and got a couple pieces of camp lid but the reason I stopped to take some film is uh, this fine got me another eagle button just a eagle coat, nothing special. I hope it focuses in. Yeah, there it goes. Just an eagle coat. The shank is missing off the back. It's got a broken shank. But other than that, the button's in pretty good shape. Gave out about a 55 signal. I'm up here on the south side of the field today. Getting a little worn out on the north side. There's still signals down there, but I wanted to try something different. I really haven't hit this in except for the first day when I got my plate, and it was so hot, couldn't even concentrate. And uh, I got a few hits up here, just walking through. But I'm in a little concentrated area. Got some iron, and I got uh, just got the J hook, and just got this uh, J hook, the fired bullet, and the single button. So we'll see what else is here. Hope y'all have a great day. And get out hey, there and go dig. Hey. This is all again. Got another good signal. Thought it was a bat wing, but I don't think it's a bat wing. I think it's uh I'm not sure what it is. It's either a natural bend or a plow bend. It looks like a natural bend. There's a rivet there, a rivet hole there, a rivet there. The bat wing was the end of the carbon sling buckle a sling belt. I ain't too sure that's what that is. It might be. It's been a while since I dug one. It's either that or a saddle piece, I would say. Made of brass. Pretty heavy. You say it's got an old old hit. It's either a hit or that's the way it was formed. I'm not sure which. I'm pretty sure it's bent. But, uh, looks to be a set of bat wings off a sling belt. Carbine sling belt. Having a good morning. Gotten in a few little things. There's some iron, good iron hits in here. Uh, also got, I'm not sure what the heck it is, but I got a, uh, I got an old handle. I'm not sure what it went to. It was a tool. It might have been a farm tool. I, ain't too, I don't think it's period. It could be. I'm not sure what that was. Either a big old knife or a spoon or but it was over there near where the eagle coat butt was at. So nice brass piece, either a bat wing or saddles piece or something. Alright guys. I'll see you. This is Orphan Junior.